Okay, what's up, everybody? What's up, what's up? How's everybody doing? It is... Ladies and gentlemen, I can't believe it. It's October. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe it's freaking October, ladies and gents? I can't. I'm DSP. Welcome to my gameplay stream for today. My extended gameplay stream for today. Um... Which is going to be the return of Salty Sundays with Ultra Street Fighter 2 today. Um, it's been a while. It's been three weeks since I played Ultra Street Fighter 2, folks. <laughs> this is a game that I played all summer, pretty much on a weekly basis. I enjoyed playing it. Um, it's a game that, you know, has a lot of nostalgia for me because it is a port or version of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, my favorite fighting game of all time. It is far inferior to the arcade version of that game, by the way. They tweaked the game in many different ways to make it kind of stupid. Uh, put into characters that are completely unbalanced and overpowered in ranked play, which is ridiculous. But it's still fun for me. <clears throat> Being that it's the only playable version of, of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo that's a modern version on consoles that anyone is touching. Now, folks, I've, ha I've heard some bad news. I've actually heard that apparently um, not a lot of people are playing this anymore. In fact, from what I'm going to understand, during the summertime, okay... When I was playing this on a weekly basis, from what I'm to understand, there were people who were playing it regularly to try to actually stay good at it to play me. <laughs> and now that the summer is over and I haven't played it for three weeks, it was actually Atlas Telemon was in the stream chat the other day. And he's like, Phil, you know, I was playing it along with you during the summer against all these people. And sadly, it looks like no one's playing it. Like I, I was trying to play it last night. I couldn't find anybody. That's not good news. I'm hoping that today we can find players because I have been saying I was going to play this now for several days. And plus, it's the weekend. So you would think if people are going to play it, they would play it on the weekend, right? So I'm really hoping we can find matches because I really want to get one nice large session of this in, okay? Reason being, Whenever I play Ultra Street Fighter 2, I record a ridiculous amount of matches, a ridiculous amount of videos. And this is good because this week, I'm taking time off from streaming for four days. Because, number one, there's no new releases this coming week that I'm interested in anyway. I don't care about Forza. And number two, because I need the time off. I need to recuperate so that I can come back strong with all the giant new AAA releases coming out this month. There's tons of new releases coming out in October, folks. <clears throat> So, that being said, folks, um, I really hope we can get matches, and I would love to have a bunch of matches in today. You know, let me 30, 40, 50 matches, and that way I could split it up to, say, three sessions or three uploading sessions of, say, 15 fights. Um, I guess we'll have to see how it goes. I really hope that it goes smoothly and we get fights, you know, without issue, but there may be some significant downtime between fights if really there aren't a lot of people playing this anymore. If that is the case, folks, feel free to chat with me in stream chat as we wait. Then maybe what ends up happening is we just talk a little bit between the matches. Um, I guess we'll find out, right? So, that is the goal for today. One big meaty session of Ultra Street Fighter 2. Now, as you notice, I'm streaming early. Um, I've been streaming uh, around 12.30 p.m. every every day till about 5 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, I'm going to be streaming early today, tomorrow, and th Tuesday for so three, three more straight days in order to get in a little bit of extra footage every single day so that I have these videos to upload while I'm on break this week, okay? When I'm not live streaming later this week. <clears throat> All right, so we'll see what happens. It's October. I can't believe it's October. I mean, seriously. The summer, I'll be honest, the summer seemed like it took forever. The summer was slow, right? It just seemed like it was dragging on. There were no new releases for this extended period of time of two months. It was from like mid-June to mid-August. There were no new releases. And even though I did some fun stuff during the summer, like my Dark Souls 2 uh, Scholar of the First Sin run, my Red Dead Redemption playthrough, my Sonic Marathon, where I played Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, then Sonic Mania, it was still like, damn. And then all of a sudden, boom. September hit, and there was so much going on. There were so many releases and everything. Dude, September passed in a heartbeat, in a blink of an eye. <clears throat> it was so quick. It was awesome, though. I mean, I loved... I had a, real, a lot of fun during September. 
I hope you guys did too. And it was. It was a good month. Um, Games-wise, it was a good month. Streaming-wise, you, YouTube went up slightly, which I expected. We all expected YouTube would go up because it's now we're starting to get the better ads, right? In particular, actually, right now, October, is when some of the best advertisements of the year should be running um, in October, starting this month, you know. So big money on YouTube to be made starting this month. Now, will that affect me? I don't even know. I mean, the good news is this month there's six huge releases. Everyone wants to see me play. The bad news is, you know, my YouTube channel is pretty much an archive at this point. I don't, I've, I've disabled comments because all the comments on my videos were just nasty shit. Um, and honestly, the viewership that I used to get is not there anymore. It's just not. It's dwindling. And I know that, but I also know there's no way to save the channel because YouTube has changed so many times and the channel has just been so affected by negative nonsense that I can't control that, you know, there's nothing that I could do. So... You know, even though normally I would have a big increase in income at the end of the year here, I don't even know if I'm going to see it, which kind of sucks. Uh, I hope it will. I hope it will, um, <clears throat> because hopefully, uh, you know, I would see a little bit of an increase and it would help me out, because as you know, early in the year, typically, next year, there will be nothing for like a month. Usually, January is dead as shit, and YouTube is terrible in January. Ad revenue is garbage in January, so here's hoping, right? I guess we'll find out. But, uh, yeah, so a good, a good September that passed by really quick, and now we're heading into the busiest time of the year. So today, I'm going to be doing Ultra Street Fighter 2 on stream. I'm going to be uploading Ultra Street Fighter 2 matches, and later tonight, I'll be uploading some more Marvel matches. So it's going to be all fighting game stuff on my, my DSP Gaming channel today. Uh, tonight, I'll be doing the weekend preview. And ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gents, big news. It is 100% official now. We hit the funding goal for September for Patreon. Um, and I am going to be doing the Halloween Horror Marathon. In fact, we hit it in a big way. You know, boom. I was afraid that a bunch of people's pledges may have been declined. And therefore, we weren't going to hit the funding goal for, for September. Only three people's pledges were declined. Let me repeat myself, folks. Only three people had their pledges declined. I think it was like... 15 bucks. That is unprecedented. That is 100% unprecedented. I've never had a month where so few people were declined. So basically what happened was people must have heard that I said the only way we're going to not hit the goal is if people pledges were declined and they probably went in and made sure that all their info was correct. <clears throat> so that's awesome. That's freaking awesome. So we hit the goal. We're do I'm doing the marathon. What I'm actually going to do tonight is like, since only three people were declined, I mean, holy shit, right? Well, I'm going to message everyone tonight on Twitch, ex on Twitch, oh my God, on Patreon, excuse me. And I'm going to tell them, you know, hey, we hit the goal. This is great. Give me your info. Let's get this stuff going. Let me get you upgraded and everything as soon as I can. So yeah, hopefully this week, everyone will be sending me their info. Um, and then by next weekend, I can start getting those upgrades going so that maybe by say mid October, everyone could start nominating games, and then what we'll do is that one week before Halloween, everyone will vote on the nominations to determine what games I'll be playing during the Halloween Horror Marathon, okay? So, this is great news. Very excited, very pleased. Thank you to everyone who did pledge to my Patreon in the month of September. I'm obviously very grateful. Um, you know, that's money that, I'm not even kidding you, this morning I checked and I said, oh, okay, th this this was charged. I immediately withdrew the funds to my PayPal. And now it's got to go to my bank account, which takes about a day. And it goes right to bills. <laughs> it goes, boom, gone. You know, that's, a, that's how, you know, the serious situation I'm in is whatever I get, I got to put it right to the bank account for bills right away. Um, <clears throat> so thanks for that. That's definitely going to help, okay? Um... Now, during my time off coming up this week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit up the local Halloween stores. Usually there's at least two. Usually there's one called Spirit of Halloween, and then sometimes there's another one. And I will check out what kind of costumes they have. I might even take some pictures of ideas that I have. And based on what I see that they have at the Halloween stores, I will generate a poll 
of certain genres. Maybe it'll be video games, uh, pop culture, you know, television, movies, classic horror, stuff like that. And uh, that that poll will go live sometime this month on my forums. And patrons from September will be voting on what genre of costume um, I'll be dressing up in for Halloween. Okay, and then later this month, I'll obviously go back and buy the costume. So, uh, it should be fun. <clears throat> should be fun and interesting, and I'm very excited for the Halloween uh, marathon, now that we know it's going to happen. Now, not to jump the gun, folks, okay, but there will be a Patreon goal for this month. What is it going to be? Well, I have three ideas. Here's the three ideas, one of which I don't think we can do this month, but let me give you the three ideas. Number one would be a multiplayer event, meaning if you pledge during this month, okay, um, what will happen is next month, November, you'll register on the forums, you'll get, you know, get into the event and post up, say, oh, I want to play these multiplayer games with Phil. The games that will be eligible will be as follows. Um, probably Destiny 2, although it sucks because Destiny 2, you can only do what? Four player parties, which really sucks. But hey, it's a multiplayer game. I know a lot of people bought it. So probably Destiny 2. Uh, possibly Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, although I really don't like the game. Uh, I may consider doing that. Um, <clears throat> but now you gotta think about the new multiplayer games coming up that everyone's gonna be buying. Including Call of Duty World War 2, right? Star Wars Battlefront 2. Those are two ginormous games that everyone's gonna wanna play online, right? Everyone. Uh, I'll, I'll say Overwatch, because Overwatch is a game that's a holdover that everyone always wants to play. <clears throat> and then, you know, there's some other possibilities. Keep in mind some of the games I had this year, like Friday the 13th or Dead by Daylight, uh, stuff like that. I'm not going to buy Fortnite, but I am going to get the free version. The, what is it called? Um, Battleground or whatever. And I'm going to be playing that tomorrow, actually. So... If that has the capability of doing multiplayer that you could set up with friends, I would consider doing that as well. So, that being said, folks, um, a multiplayer event. And what will happen is if you pledge five bucks or more to my Patreon, you get in on this event and you'll be able to choose what games you want to play with me. And what I'll do is I'll schedule it out probably in December, because November, a lot of these games aren't coming out until late November, all right? So it wouldn't make sense to actually hold the event in November. I'd probably do it in December when things are slow, and when people typically have more time to play anyway. Um, and it would be, you know, do big chunks of time where I'll be just be doing multiplayer gameplay with patrons. This I did this last year. It was very successful. People really liked the event, and were actually hoping that I would bring it back. <clears throat> but then I got so wrapped up in other stuff this year, I never really had an opportunity to do it for months. I think it was very early this year I had an event like this, but I haven't done it in a long time. So that is one um, that I'm considering doing as a patron goal. But the thing is, if I did that as the goal for October, I don't know how successful it would be, if, especially if I'm not going to be doing the matches in the event till December. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure. Number two, I want to do a Player Unknown's Battlegrounds event where I want to do a marathon of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds for like a 7 plus hour marathon. Now the problem with this is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds right now is PC only. It's huge, it's popular. In fact, for a limited amount of time it actually became the biggest game played on Steam, but then it got overtaken again. Um the problem is we don't know when it's going to come out for console. It's supposed to come out for Xbox 1 by the end of this year. We've been promised by the game developers it will be coming out by the end of this year on Xbox One. But there's no release date. And because there's no release date, that sucks, right? Because it means we don't know what's going on with it. We don't know exactly when to expect it. Um, and not knowing that, I can't... Say, like, let's say I did it for my my October goal. We hit the goal. Great, we're going to do this Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Marathon. Very excited. But then I can't tell you when I'm doing the, the goal. When are we doing the event? I don't know. Whenever it releases, Right? That sucks. It sucks It sucks that I can't play, stream, and record, in high quality anyway, games on my PC. I've tried it. It doesn't work. Especially games that have, like, graphics that aren't just simplified. You know, if I'm playing indie games or whatever, and they're 8-bit pixels and shit. Yes, that I can do. <clears throat> but sadly, I'm not able to do more complex games. They just don't work. It chops up. Um... 
gets a very, very crappy frame rate. So, it sucks. Um, I want to play this game. I want to do it as a goal. I might do this as the goal for October because I really don't know. I can't, I don't think I can do the multiplayer event. Um, but I don't know when I'm going to be able to do this event. Okay. The only alternative that I can think of would be to just stream it and not record it for YouTube, but instead have it as an archive on Twitch and then have to like separate it as highlights and chunks and then take those highlights and upload those to YouTube, but I couldn't do it in 10 minute segment. I have to do it like half an hour segments maybe. It would just it would I, it's it's possible if you know, if worse came to worse and we really didn't know when the hell it was coming out for Xbox 1 and I really wanted to do the event, I guess I could do I could still try to pull it off just with streaming and archiving on Twitch. Okay? In fact, this is actually what many many full-time Twitch streamers do. They don't record locally like I do. They just use the archive on Twitch and they chop it up into highlights and then take those highlights and upload them to YouTube. So I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'm thinking this is probably going to be the, the goal for this month only because um, I don't. we can't do the multiplayer. And the other one, the third goal that's coming up that I want to do, okay, <clears throat> a... Christmas event where people will be nominating and voting on games for me to play in a Christmas day and or, you know, sometime maybe Christmas Eve, you know, around Christmas, I'll be doing a marathon event where I play Christmas themed games. Now, I'm fully aware that a lot of Christmas themed games are shitty games on PC and or like classic games that I can emulate. More than likely, this will be a, a marathon event that I'm going to be doing on my PC, which is fine because I'm sure none of these games are going to be graphically intensive or whatever. Um, so that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do for, that'll probably be November's goal, okay, would be, you know, pledge to Patreon and do a fun Christmas marathon event where I play a marathon of Christmas games. And then I'm thinking December's goal will probably be the, the multiplayer, because that way, uh, let's face it, January's incredibly slow, that would be the perfect time to hold the multiplayer sessions, right? <clears throat> so that's what I'm thinking. Um... I don't know how it's going to work out, but that's what I'm thinking. So, more than likely, folks, this month's goal for Patreon will be Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. All right, um, I'll have that set up much later in the month. Pretty much when I come back from my time off is when I'll set that up on Patreon. And I'll start promoting it. But FYI, if you are interested, that's what it's going to be. Okay, fair enough. Sound good? Is that right? Is okay? Is that right? All righty then. So, that's awesome. I'm glad we hit the goal for September. I'm very excited for the Halloween Marathon. I'll have more information soon. You know, I'm going to be messaging all those patrons tonight. And those patrons will be starting to nominate games as of tonight, which is sweet. So, that's cool. That's exciting. And hopefully it goes nicely. I'm looking forward to it. I love doing a Halloween Marathon event. I always have. <clears throat> Speaking of which, you know, it is October. That means tonight I'm going to start watching horror stuff. Last night I watched some Death Note. Um... Tonight, I'll probably start watching horror movies. This is what I do during the month of October. I go all out with horror. Start watching horror stuff. So I've got... I actually got all the Friday the 13th movies, all the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies, all the Chucky movies, all the Leprechaun movies. Um, I've got all of the Omen movies, all of the Saw movies, um, all the Final Destination movies. Uh, I've got classic stuff, like I have Alfred Hitchcock Presents, that's what I watched last year, season one, so I might look to see if I can get season two. Uh, I got the entire Twilight Zone series to watch, which is cool. Um, I've got a ton, dude. I got all kinds of horror movies, seriously, so many horror movies. So I'm going to start watching those this month, it's going to be a crazy horror marathon month for me. And I'm very excited for that, I love doing this in October, every year I do it. So, should be fun. Starting tonight, if you if you follow me on Instagram or on Twitter, because I post up my Instagram stuff on Twitter, you're going to start seeing horror stuff being posted every day, the stuff that I'm watching, okay? <clears throat> ah. Okay. Well, folks, I don't have too much else to talk about here on pre-stream. I just wanted to get that good news out of the way about the Halloween Marathon. FYI... We may have low attendance today for two reasons. Number one, because I'm starting earlier than usual, 
right? And a lot of people still don't realize that I'm doing that. And number two, because I'm playing a classic fighting game. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea how many people we have on the stream ever. I don't look anymore. And it's funny because some people were like, Phil, are you aware that you had such high attendance when you were playing this and that? I'm like, I'm not paying attention. I honestly have no idea how many people are on stream anymore. I don't. I really don't pay attention. I don't even look at the number. I just let it roll and I, I play games and I have fun. And I don't let stream attendance bother me at all. It's funny because same thing with YouTube. I don't care about YouTube views anymore. I don't watch. I don't look at YouTube views. Nothing. I don't let it bother me. <clears throat> so we'll see how today's stream goes. I'm just happy that th those of you who are here are here to have fun, right? You want to watch me beat some people up in Street Fighter? You want to watch me rage at the online bullshit in Street Fighter? And just have a good time. That's what it's all about. That's all I care about. <clears throat> yes, and I should say, say the fun sarcasm emote is now available to my subscribers. Yes, it is brand new. Made by Popsicolo just a couple days ago and it just went live. So you can use the fun emote today. Hope you'll check that out, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me, I felt that coming and I wanted to burp before I started talking again and then it interrupted a sentence. <laughs> Alright, so folks, let's do some plug, quick plugs and then I'll read out the shout outs for today's stream and then we'll get started, okay? So quick plugs, number one, I already talked about Patreon, I'm not going to talk about it again, patreon.com forward slash darksidephil, there you go. Thank you to everyone who supported me in September, I appreciate that. <clears throat> Number two, Teespring. You can see it right now on stream, the, the, the promotion, the ad for it. I love t the stuff from I've gotten from Teespring. I, have th I own three of the shirts and a mug by myself that I bought, you know, just to, to help promote. And I love this stuff. You should check it out as well. Anything you buy from my Teespring shop um, it gives me a pretty sizable commission and it helps me out. Keep in mind the holidays are coming. I'm just saying, hint, hint. You might want to get a nice present for someone or something like that. Hint, hint, hint. So give it a look, my Teespring, okay? <clears throat> All right, and ladies and gentlemen, obviously this is a gameplay stream, duh. So if you feel as if you would like to cheer, sub, or tip during the stream, you have that capability, cheering with bits, subbing to the channel, or tipping by looking at my tips section below the stream, clicking on there, it takes you to the tips page, where you can either do it anonymously or you can leave a name and message for me, okay? Um... If you do any of those things, I will give you a shout-out. I will be doing it between matches, okay? It's a fighting game. Kind of hard for me to interrupt the gameplay of a fighting game by giving a shout-out during the match. So I'll be doing it between matches. Fair enough. Now, if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you subscribe to the channel and click the share button that appears when you subscribe, or if you tip me $2 or more, you'll be able to get an on-screen notification during the stream as well. So it's visual recognition as well as verbal recognition. You get double recognition if you do it at those levels. All right. <clears throat> a couple of quick things in regards to all this. First of all, folks, please do not spam me with low bit cheers and tons of questions. Meaning, I noticed the past few days someone's been doing like 10 bit cheer, 10 bit cheer, and then ask you a question that's not like a, a yes or no question, but like a question where you expect me to give like a, a, a fucking, you know, essay answer. Uh, it's not going to happen. If you ask me silly questions like that, I'm not going to stop the entirety of the stream. And hold up for 20 minutes to answer your question. This is not Ask the King. Ask the King, my bi-monthly Q&A show is coming up later this month. That would be the place to ask questions like that. You can go to my kingofhate.com forums right now and post up in the thread the questions for the next Ask the King. Okay? <clears throat> so I'm just throwing that out there now. I don't want anyone to be disappointed. Oh, I did a 10-bit cheer and Phil didn't ask my question about, you know, tell us a story about your college life or something. Like, it's not going to happen. All right? I gotta focus in on my stream here. <laughs> um. <clears throat> so that's number one. All right. Um. Number two, ladies and gents. Number two. Um. Subs. Right now, Patreon. I said Patreon. I'm getting so confused. Twitch is running a promotion: half price subscriptions. If you are not subscribed to my channel or anyone's channel on Twitch and you're going to subscribe for the first time, if you do so right now, it's half price. And that's any level. It could be the standard $5 level, the $10 level, or the $25 level. Okay? Uh, so if you're planning on subbing, now would be the right time. 
Uh, from what I'm going to understand, it was only running until October 2nd, but someone told me it got extended. I don't know if that's true or not. But, yeah, if you subscribe today, it's half price. Okay? <clears throat> and then last but not least, folks. Uh, if you are planning on maybe cheering, subbing, or tipping today, okay? And you're wondering, gee, I wonder which one would help fill the most right now. The God's honest truth would be tipping. The reason being, because tips I get right away. Um, while cheers and subs take two months to process. I'll get paid for any cheers or subs that you do today in the month of December. Now, look, I'm not looking at a gift horse in the mouth. Anyone who cheers or subs, I'm very appreciative. I, that's going to help me tremendously. You know, come December, that's going to be my life's blood, right? But right now, for the short term until mid-October, when I'm actually going to get paid for my really great performance that I had out in August, uh, where I had my best streaming month ever, <clears throat> Right now, things are very financially tight. I'm nervous that my bank account's going to be overdrawn for the second month in a row. Last month, we got through it. But this month now, especially now because I'm taking time off, I'm really nervous. So, if you're planning on doing anything and you have the freedom to choose, please tip me. Because those tips go right to, boom, my PayPal and then, boom, to my bank account and can pay bills right away. Um, in fact, you know, I will just throw this out there. Since I'm not streaming for four days this week, hint, hint. Uh, if you are planning on doing any kind of contributions, you may want to do them sooner rather than later so that I can get those, you know, set up into my bank account, etc. And I don't have to worry about it when I'm during my time off. Oh my God, is my bank account going to overdraw when I'm supposed to be relaxing? <laughs> I'm just saying, okay? <clears throat> All right. So now it's time for shout outs. And then we'll get started. Sound good? All right, let's go down here. First of all, once again, I must give a very special thank you to Golden Colts, who did a bunch of cheers overnight yet again. I'm very appreciative. Golden Colts has been doing this a lot, and I am very appreciative of that. In fact, if you actually take a look, one of the Twitch extensions that I started using in the past month is a leaderboard for cheering. And the leaderboard is saying that Golden Colts is slowly creeping up in the ranks for you know, highest cheerer ever because of he, these these overnight cheers he's been doing. So thank you, Golden Colts, for that. It's very appreciated. All right. Now for some cheers from today's pre-stream. We had Griffin Box doing a 10-bit cheer and saying, what are my thoughts on The Simpsons getting a movie sequel? Good. I like the first Simpsons movie. That's it. I don't have complex thoughts on it. <laughs> he also did a 10-bit cheer and said, I know you're taking time off. Would it be, it would be cool to see you vlog your trip to the Halloween store? No, I'm not going to vlog it. It's illegal. You can't actually vlog stuff like that. It's private property. But <clears throat> I will be, uh, like I said, probably taking pictures of interesting things that I see for Instagram. And I'll post it up on my Instagram, which is Instagram.com forward slash they call me DSP. And also on my Twitter, they call me DSP. So both places you can see that coming this week. Okay. Groovin Box did a 50 bit cheer. He said, whatever happened to the separate YouTube website that was only for gaming? I thought at one point they were trying to copy Twitch. Oh, they were. And trust me, they still are. Um, that was over... That was two years ago. <laughs> two years ago, um, they set it up to do YouTube gaming, a separate website where it would just be gaming uh, streaming for YouTube. And it failed miserably because YouTube didn't promote it, number one. And number two, they didn't have, there was no reason to go there. Twitch was much better. The stream chat on Twitch, there were emotes on Twitch, there was subbing on Twitch. You know, all everything on Twitch was much better. There was no reason to use the YouTube streaming except for the video quality. That was the one thing. Streamers could do unlimited bitrate streaming. But outside of that, there was literally not a single reason to stream on YouTube or to watch a stream on YouTube over Twitch. Twitch had all the assets going for it. So it failed miserably because YouTube didn't set it up to, to succeed. It's like they thought, oh, well, we're YouTube. So we'll just set it up and it'll just fucking, it'll just succeed on its own. Um, you know, it's laziness. Just like everything Google does is fucking lazy as shit. Write an algorithm, throw it on the website and just let it run itself and don't actually do any work. You know, because they're too busy eating their fucking pomegrapples, sliding down fucking slides and doing meditation and fucking, you know, all kinds of stupid shit when they're supposed to be working. That's their work ethic at Google. Yeah, they're great people, aren't they? So that being said, um, 
YouTube Gaming failed. Now, I just tweeted about this a week ago, if you aren't aware. Guess what they did on YouTube, folks? They completely copied Twitch. YouTube now has the ability for you to be not a subscriber, because that already exists on YouTube and that's free. Now they call it a supporter. You can be a paid supporter of a YouTube channel. And in YouTube stream chat, if someone's streaming on YouTube, you can get exclusive emojis. Not emotes, emojis. And you can have chat badges. And you can... Oh, does this sound familiar, everybody? Does it kind of sound like Twitch? Because it is. They literally copied the business model of Twitch because they realized YouTubers can't make money anymore because of all the demonetization of ads. And they said, well, we got to have some reason for YouTubers to stay. So they in implemented this system that's exactly like Twitch. <clears throat> Pretty ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, um, that's what happened with YouTube gaming. It failed. People stopped using it. Some people did like me. I tried using it for almost two years. It wasn't helping me at all. I was making no money doing it. And I wasn't getting any extra attention on my YouTube channel because of it. And it sucked. And I said, fuck this. And I left and I came back to Twitch. And I'm very happy that I did. Because now Twitch pretty much makes me just as much revenue as YouTube, if not more, every single month. You know, honest talk. <clears throat> so, that's what happened. And it's, it's garbage. And, you know, pretty much almost nobody uses YouTube gaming anymore. It's It's dead. <laughs> Shout out to Ultimate Boss 45134 who subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Ultimate Boss. That's a new sub, by the way. Thank you. It wasn't like a resub. It's a brand new subscriber. Appreciate that. Shout out to Xenoark, who did a 10-bit cheer. Says, are you a fan of Rick and Morty? Well, I was not a fan of Rick and Morty because I never watched it until the summer. And then a viewer of mine was very nice enough to actually buy me the Blu-ray sets of Season 1 and 2, which I watched and really liked. So, yes, now I am a fan of Rick and Morty. Um, I have not watched any of season three, though. I've only seen seasons one and two. I haven't seen any of the new episodes from this season. <clears throat> Shout out to Griffin Box. in another 20-bit cheer. He says, do you think you'll ever watch the Death Note movie on Netflix? Yes. When I actually finish the Death Note anime, I will watch the Death Note movie on Net Netflix. And then I will see how it holds up in comparison to the, ser the actual anime series. <laughs> there you go. Griffin Box did another 20-bit cheer. He says, Sucks that you can't stream Nintendo 64 games because the original South Park would be a great holiday-themed game for the marathon. Um, yes, right? Didn't they have a Christmas-themed, like, South Park game on the Nintendo 64? Right? I think they did. Um, I mean, it's not that it's out of the question. Don't they have a Nintendo 64 emulator? I'm almost positive they do. Um, I don't know how well it would run on my PC, but I'm almost positive that they have one. So, I would definitely, if that were the goal, or if that were part of the the uh, the the goal, you know, the the holiday marathon, if people nominated it, I would need help. I would need people to who know how to make that work. Uh, give me some advice on what's a good emulator, how to set it up quickly, you know, how to get it working on my PC so that I could get that ready for the event. Okay, but good suggestion. Um. Or nights to the ten bit cheers is where where am I at? You are in front of your electronic device watching the stream. I don't know where physically you are, but I know you're in front of a device, or else you wouldn't have been able to type that into the chat. <laughs> Shout out to Atlas Telemon, who did a hundred bit cheer. He says, "I'm online tonight. I hope to see you in the lobbies. Cool. We'll see." Um, as you know, it certainly has not been <laughs> uh, a great experience of finding anybody. In this freaking game. Like, half the time, I never see people even playing it. In fact, it's funny because Atlas Telemon did another cheer. And he said, uh, check, check your mail. Okay. Um, he sent me an email of a listing of players who he frequently plays in Ultra Street Fighter 2, including who they play. Um, guess what? And I'm not exaggerating here, Atlas Telemon. I'm reading your email right now. Out of all the players I see here. And boy, did he, he, he's listening a lot of players. I only recognize two names so far. I'm going down to the end of the email now. Yeah, I've only played two of these players ever. <laughs> yeah, so... That being said, it seems to me like the connections are so bad and so few and far between that most of the players who Atlas Telemon plays in this game, I probably can't even play them. 
because the connections are probably so poor um, that they don't even show up for me. That would be my guess, is they don't even fucking show up. <clears throat> Unbelievable, huh? All right. But anyway, thanks for the email. I just, sadly, I don't think it's going to help because I've never seen these people before. <laughs> Shout out to Darth Radovan Viking, who did a 101-bit cheer to be the cheerleader for today's stream so far. And he says, congratulations on reaching the Patreon goal. Good job. Yes, thank you. And thank everyone, again, who did contribute. We, we were way under the goal. We were way under the goal. All right. Um, and people rallied in the last few days of the month and made it happen. So thank you, because there were several people who did do some significantly large pledges. So thank you to those who did and made it happen, because I really love Halloween, and I'm very happy that I get to do the event now. Thank you. Ornites to the 10-bit cheers is in the bit ranking, I mean. Huh? Wait a minute. What was his previous? He says, where am I at in the bit ranking? I guess you mean in the leaderboard? You'd have to check it out yourself. It's built into my Twitch page now. It's one of the panels. So go give it a look, but chances are, aren't I, I don't remember you being a very frequent cheerer, especially compared to some other people, so you're probably not in the top rankings, I'm just saying. Oh wow, shout out to Ultimate Boss, who just tipped me $10. He said, I love you, Philip. <laughs> well, thank you for the tip, Ultimate Boss, I appreciate that, I really do. Thank you, thank you for the support. Manny Peregrine did a 100-bit cheer, and he says... How come you cannot Google search it and research the best emulator for your email, Phil? I have no idea what you're talking about. The best emulator for my email. What? Hmm. Thanks for the cheer. I have no idea what you just said. Anyway, Alice Telemann just did a 50-bit cheer and says, I'm also in another region, Europe, so I think I'm mainly fishing in a different pool. You're right. Even though I do... I want to play anyone from any region when I play Ultra Street Fighter 2. Um, <clears throat> I uh, I know that, you know, the connections are so bad as is. Imagine now trying to play people in Europe constantly. <laughs> they probably don't show up in my, in my search just because they know the connections are so shit. So. Ah. All right. Oh, right, by the way, what's going on, Deep Craze? Haven't seen Deep Craze in a while. I know Deep Craze has actually been having um, some big problems with technology. So, good to see you back, man. Hope you enjoy the stream. Or nice to the 10-bit cheer. He says, I'm a thousand away from blue. I am quite the frequent cheerer. Oh, now I know what he's talking about. He's not talking about the cheer leaderboards. He's talking about the cheer badges that you get in the cheering stream chat. Oh. <laughs> Okay. There now it makes sense. Boy, that was like a, solving a mystery. It was, it was like I needed to, to get my magnifying glass out and uh, you know start to dusting for prints to try to figure out what he was talking about. Now I understand. Okay. Well, thank you for your support, Ornites. <clears throat> and shout out to that Anonymous. What's up, Anonymous? First time I saw you here today. He just did a fifty bit cheer on behalf of Derek, and he says. I was wondering what movies and shows have you been watching lately on Netflix? I'm dying to know. Um, well, I watched the entire first season of Once Upon a Time and a couple episodes of the second season, which honestly seems better than the first season. But because Halloween Horror Month was coming, I stopped watching that. I watched a little bit of BoJack Horseman recently. So I'm in season three of BoJack Horseman now. It's somewhere in season three. I don't know where. Um, <clears throat> and now it's horror time. So everything I watch, I'm, I'm going to be watching Death Note, the anime, which is horror themed. Um, I'm going to be watching horror movies. I'm going to be watching all kinds of horror-themed stuff in October. There you go. Shout-out to Atlas Telemon again, who did a 20-bit cheer. And he says, Luckily, I have the wired connection now. Curious what my connection bar shows when we play. It'll still be shit, because it's not your internet that's the problem. It's the fucking console itself is shit. <laughs> Alright, maybe I shouldn't say that. And the reason I shouldn't say that is because... Recently, I played some games that had really good internet connections, right? Like, um, ARMS had pretty much no lag in almost every match I played of it back in, what was that, May, June? I don't remember. I think it was June. Um, yeah, there was no problem with ARMS. So it's not the console, it's just the game. They designed the game as a piece of shit. They just did not give a shit about online play. I mean, let's face it, why would they have put Akuma and v Violent Ken 
into fucking ranked if they cared about online play. They didn't. It's a rushed, you know, patch job of a fucking game that's a piece of garbage. It really sucks. And, uh, it just sucks it's the only version of Super Turbo that anyone plays, you know, on console. So. <clears throat> okay. I think it's now time for us to begin with Ultra Street Fighter 2. Keep in mind this is an extended stream. I'm going to attempt to play till around 5 p.m., but I don't know how well this is going to go. We may have a lot of problems finding matches. We're going to see firsthand together here how this goes today, folks. Okay? Fair enough. All right. Thank you for being patient for the pre-stream, and I think it's time for us to start. Fair enough. Sound good? All right. Oh, hold on. Atlas Telemon did a 50-bit cheer. He says, do you think they'll patch the game? Nope. <laughs> I don't think they ever will because the game already sold. No one's going to buy this game. Uh, now, especially now because you've got ARMS, you've got uh, po Pokin D Tournament DX, you've got other fighting games now on the console. Keep in mind, when Ultra Street Fighter 2 released, there were no other fighting games on the console at all. So that's why everyone bought it. Now there's already competition, so no one's going to buy Like for Christmas, no one's buying Ultra Street Fighter 2 at Christmas. They already heard the game's terrible online. They're not going to buy it. So the sales are done. There's no reason for Capcom to put any other effort into this game. <clears throat> Oh, I got another cheer from that Anonymous. He did a 10-bit cheer as you should do Shadow of War loot box unboxing videos like you did for Overwatch. Dude, those days are over. I have no money. You know, at least when I was unboxing stuff in Overwatch last year, which is the last time I did it, I had some disposable income. I don't have any disposable income. I'm not exaggerating here. Uh, any money that I get goes to my bills. And the only time I can spend money is on a credit card. I have no money. <laughs> so, I don't have money to buy loot boxes. It's not going to happen. <clears throat> Okay, that is it, folks. Thank you very much. Whoa, hold on. I got another 30-bit cheer. Wow, this pre stream will never end, folks. I got another 30-bit cheer from Griffin Box. He says, when are you planning to return to PlayStation VR? There's Skyrim VR and Doom VR coming. Um, Yes. Well, let me put it this way. Skyrim VR, I'm not playing. I already played Skyrim. Doom VR, I'm interested in, but it has no release date. The next scheduled time that I will definitely be playing PlayStation VR is actually in November. In late November, there's this game called... Hold on, I wrote it on my calendar here. That's not the name of it. It's called... Uh, the Impatient. It's from the makers of Until Dawn and apparently ties in to the plot of Until Dawn. Um, I'm going to be playing that in PSVR. <clears throat> for sure. Okay. So, there you go. November will be the next time guaranteed that I'm playing PSVR. Darth Red of Viking did a 100-bit cheer, and he says, can you not deduct taxes of games and things that you buy for your business? Yes. The way it works is it's considered a tax write-off. What that means is I don't pay taxes on it. It doesn't mean it's free. It just means I don't pay taxes on it. It gets deducted from my taxable income. Um, so, let's say, for example, just hypothetical. Let's say, for example, I made $1,000, but during that period that I made $1,000, I spent $100 on games for the business, then not only $900 would I be eligible of paying income tax on. That's how it works. Okay? So it's not free. It's not like, oh, he gets it for free. He just buys it, but it gets out of his taxes. No, it's not how it works. I just don't pay taxes on it. Okay. Shout out to that anonymous. Boy, we are not going to get to gameplay, folks. We're not. People just keep cheering. Shout out to that anonymous who did an 11-bit cheer and says, thanks for so much for adding me to the auto-host list last night. I appreciate it. And I plan on streaming before your second streams. There you go. Yes, I am. If anyone ever wonders why there's other things playing on my channel, it's because I have a lot of my viewers. I host them. Just because I don't have to. But, uh, oh my God. I don't have to, but I do because it's a nice thing to do. It promotes community. It's a nice way to network, right? To share viewers and stuff. I don't have a problem with that. If I'm not streaming, I don't care if you watch someone else's stream. There you go. Or Knights did a 10-bit cheers as you still eat lasagna. Occasionally. And I eat a frozen lasagna. 
um, that I really like. There's this one brand that's actually tastes really good. It's much better than the shitty ones like Stouffer's and shit. No, it's a really good one. It's called what? What was it called? Fuck. It's called Fuck Lasagna. Fuck Lasagna, ladies and gentlemen. All right, no, it's not called Fuck Lasagna. I think it's called like Mama something. I don't remember. No, Michelangelo's, Michael Michelino's. I don't know. It's good. It's a t it's an Italian recipe and it tastes good. But I don't eat it frequently. Maybe once a month tops. All right. And shout out to Darth Redovan Viking who just did a thousand bit cheer to become the cheerleader for today's stream and said, way to go, Garfield. Yes. Garfield the cat who eats lasagna every day. I eat it like once a month tops. <laughs> okay, folks. Now I think it is time to end the pre-stream after 45 minutes. Dude, I've, <laughs> I've been doing shout outs for over 15 minutes, by the way. <clears throat> I think it's finally time to stop. Oh, hold on. I just got a 100-bit cheer from Golden Colts. He said, hello. Thank you, Golden Colts. And Ornites did a 10-bit cheer. He says, are you a Pepsi or Coca-Cola guy? It depends. I have moods. Sometimes I want something sweeter. I want a Pepsi. Sometimes I want like a hearty taste and I want a Coke or a Cherry Coke. Like, I like Cherry Coke over Cherry Pepsi. Okay. I think it's time to start the gameplay stream. What do you guys think? Should I start the gameplay? Oh my god. No, people say no. Keep talking. More talk. We want more talk. Wow. All right. I'm ending I'm officially ending the pre-stream right now, folks. I am. I'm ending it. <clears throat> It's ending right now. I'm clicking stop recording. 